Unfortunately for us, chickens are the prey of many, many other animals and predators out there. One of the main responsibilities when becoming a chicken owner is keeping these chickens as safe as possible and trying to make sure that they are nobody's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. You want an egg? Sit. Sit. What I figured I'd do today though is talk to you guys all about these chickens. And we've had them now for just over a year, most of them. I hope I'm not jinxing this right now. We've had one year of being predator free with no big predator attacks on our chickens. I figured I'd let you guys know what we do and some of the reasons why I think that is. They love following us. Anyone laying eggs? Yeah, you guys are laying some eggs. Oh, three of you guys, huh? Laying an egg. Laying an egg. All right, you guys lay your eggs. We won't invade their privacy too much right now as they're finishing laying eggs. And we gotta get this coop cleaned out because it's getting dirty, so we gotta get it ready to go for the winter time. Because during the winter time, we'll do the deep litter method, and it's good just to start that from fresh right when the winter is about to start. So let me talk to you guys about the best ways that you're gonna wanna keep these guys safe while you have them around. Unfortunately, what? What were you looking at? Unfortunately, when you have these guys around, they do bring predators to your property, so you gotta make sure that you can keep them safe. You wanna go down? So obviously, when you're thinking about protecting your chickens, you need to think about their most vulnerable time, and that would be at night. At nighttime, when they are asleep, they really can't see well in the dark. And that's why they know to go into the coop and get to a high place. That's kind of their protection from any kind of predators that might be around. It's easily their most vulnerable time. Like not many hens are gonna protect themselves from a predator attack. And also at nighttime, they cannot see well. So that means to make sure you have a nice secure coop. This is a little much for a lot of people and I understand that. And I would say that we used to have a coop that did not look like this. And our coop was one of those smaller ones that you could just buy from a tractor supply. But we bought it used and it was actually in a very rough shape. I fixed it up the best I could and I do think it was pretty well predator proof. But I do think we got a little lucky making sure that no predator attacks. And I think that we were able to balance that out by that the coop was a little closer to our house at the time. And we do have two dogs. All that mixed into it, I think that helped kind of keep predators away from there. But when you do have a nice secure coop, and those tractor supply ones do work perfect. The reason ours didn't is because it was a used one and it was already pretty beat up. The main things you want is obviously no big holes around. And if I close this door, Chickadee, are you gonna come out? I'm gonna close the door. Okay. So you can see no big holes here, plus there's wood behind there. Very secure. This lock right here. Honestly, it's really tough for us to do right now because this part is a little bit higher up. I need to lower this down by just like a centimeter. You could use one of those like utility clips to kind of block into here because certain predators like a raccoon are known to kind of move locks. So you gotta make sure that you have a good lock on your coop. All right, sorry chickadee. Over on this side, we have the automatic chicken door. This would be one of our most vulnerable things because it's a technology based thing. So you would fear that possibly it not locking up the way it's supposed to or opening up. But it's worked fine for us. We can see the battery level on it right on the screen. It's at 90%. So we know that we don't have to worry that this is gonna die anytime soon still. Everything else around the coop here is very secure. Hi guys. So no worries about predators coming in through the roof, nothing from underneath. So your coop acts as like the foundation for your security for your chickens. So that's definitely one of the number one things first that you want to make sure is that your coop is nice and secure because that is the ultimate protection for your chickens from any kind of predator attacks. If there's a predator that's able to get into the coop that you have any way that you think there might be a possibility, then you need to find a way to limit that the best you can. You guys almost drank all your water already, geez. All right. All right, fresh water. Yeah, we've kept you guys safe, haven't we? Yeah, we've kept you safe. Yeah, you've been feeling safe. Let's talk about the second round of protection. There's no way you guys have to eat right now. You guys have been eating. Okay, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Why do you always jump on his back? Here, the chickens didn't eat this, eat this. 
And now for your second layer of protection for your chickens to make sure that predators don't get them. That second layer of protection, I call it the internal bodyguard. Because our rooster Caesar is the one that's with them all the time throughout the day, making sure that the run is safe, protecting the hens whenever he sees hawks above or hears any strange noises, he'll make a call and they'll all run into the chicken tractor so that they're protected from above from any kind of aerial attacks from any kind of birds. I know that some of you guys might not be able to have roosters. This might not be something that is accessible to you, but for anyone that can, and I know that roosters out there have a lot of mixed feelings. Our guy right here, he's like 50-50 with us. He sometimes wants to kind of go at us and test us. Other times, not at all. And you just need to find a way to work around it. And there is ways to deal with roosters that are a little bit slightly aggressive. As long as they're not overly aggressive, I say that you gotta try to make it work because they're perfect for your group. Watch what he does here. All right, so I'm gonna get some of these grubs. I know, you guys love grubs. And where is he? Right here. Caesar, show them how you don't eat and you tell the girls right where the treats are. You see, he'll look for other treats that are on the ground and he doesn't even eat. He allows all the girls to eat and he waits. And right here, he must have just found something. If your rooster is doing that for the hens, then you know that you have a good rooster. And that's when I would say to try to make it work if you can. And for those of you guys that know, you know that we've had a hard time with the rooster problem. Our previous rooster was super, super aggressive with us. And we understand that that is a possibility and you guys might be in areas that don't allow roosters. I am not saying that if you have hens, you need a rooster, but if you can have a rooster and you try to make it work, I'm telling you, there is actually lots of benefits to having a rooster for your flock. No guys, we're not talking about you today. You want me to talk about you just a little bit though, huh? I think they feel left out. I know, but you guys aren't chickens. I forgot to mention about the rooster as well. A rooster would actually fight off a predator if need be and try to protect the hens. It wouldn't be like they would just try to tell them when to hide. They will fight, sometimes even us. All right, so we have the foundation, which was the coop. We have the inner security guard, which is the rooster. Now I need to tell you guys about the outer security guards to keep your chicken safe. Hi. How you guys doing? You guys good dogs? One of the best things that you could possibly do for your chickens is have somebody or two somebodies that are going to shy away predators from ever even coming close to your coop. And that's where guard dogs come in handy. We have Milo, who is our Great Pyrenees at Great Pyrenees. They are known to be a livestock guardian dog, so those are dogs that you would purchase definitely for the main purpose to try to make sure that your animals are safe. And he does a great job at it. His bark is super deep, super loud. It echoes throughout. I can say that he's definitely had a big part to make sure that there's no predators coming anywhere close to these guys. I'm talking about the dogs. I know that you guys aren't too sure of them all the time. They keep you safe though. Isn't that right, Sonny? Yeah, Caesar. They make your job easier. They make it easier. I know, you guys don't really like each other. Caesar, watch it. Bailey, you too. He is not a full-time outdoor dog. He does get to go inside as well. He used to choose to sleep outdoors, and I think that's because he wanted to come out here and make sure everything was safe. And he still does get to do that sometimes, but just not as much as what he was doing at one point. But I do believe that him marking his scent all throughout our property and other animals and predators knowing that stay away from our property. So even if you don't leave your dog outdoors full-time as like a working job for your dog, their presence and then them just kind of pooping and peeing and marking their scent all over your property will help protect your animals, even if he doesn't stay outdoors all the time. Isn't that right, huh? Yeah, I give you a hard time, but you do good. But I do give you a hard time. Bailey, on the other hand, is a Wheaton Terrier. She is a very good hunting dog. Her nose and the scents that she can pick up are incredible. She can sense an animal right when she walks out the door, and she does a great job, especially at nighttime, I notice it whenever we come out here to lock up the chickens. She searches that fence line immediately and will look and roam and make sure that everything is safe. Yeah, you do a good job. You do a good job too. Okay, you can go. Go get it. Between the two of them, marking their scents, barking, letting their presence known here on our property, I'm telling you, that's keeping the coop and the chickens inside that coop safe. And that's our three-part security system to make sure that we have not had any chicken tragedies here from predators for over a year now. 
since having them. Make sure you have the secure coop, have the rooster for interior protection, and you have two big fluff balls. Well, one medium sized fluff ball and one abnormally large sized fluff ball to help protect the outer perimeter. And all three of them together make it where it's gonna be hard for a predator to ever come over here. So we have never really been that worried about predators. The only time that we've ever been worried is if we came home late and the coop hasn't been locked up yet just because the dogs were inside at that moment and the coop isn't locked up. But I think with the sense of the dogs all around, it does shy predators away. Plus having the outer fencing all throughout our backyard property lines make it where there is some extra barrier. So I'm thinking that's made a big difference. So for anyone that's had predator attacks, I hope this will help you guys to try to make sure that it does not happen anymore. And for any of you guys that have not had any, I hope this keeps your chickens well protected. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow and we'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.